Hi, I'm Kristen of Case Co Arts, and today we will be doing another cover up on this canvas right here. Um, this is a 16 by 20 canvas. Of course, you guys know I'm just covering up my old canvases that have not sold, so that is what we are doing today. Um, if you guys want to take a look, remember this month is still October Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, for the women that are out there, please make sure that you go and go get your mammograms done yearly to make sure that you are not uh, having any lumps or anything inside of your breast. Please seek uh, medical attention in case you do find something that doesn't feel right. Um, and let's make sure that we're taking care of ourselves. Um, of course, again, this month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and I want you guys to make sure that you are taking care of yourselves. Let's go ahead and start this video. Um, I do have all of my pinks right here. I wanted to do another canvas in dedication to Breast Cancer Awareness Month. You guys, please go and go check out my videos for Breast Cancer Awareness. I will link one of them right here so that you can be entered into the contest. If you know a survivor of breast cancer, if you're currently going through breast cancer, please make sure that you enter into the contest. Please make sure you follow the directions inside the Breast Cancer Awareness video, of course, which I will link right here either one of the videos. Um, let's go ahead and have you guys pause the video right here. Hit that like button right there and make sure that your notification bell is turned on so that you can be notified every single time I upload a video. Let's go ahead and get started with this breast cancer awareness video. I'd like for you guys to join me and pay attention as we're about to do another acrylic pouring video. So we're gonna start this video off again with <laughs> showing you guys the two 3D paintings that I have done. Um, again, if you guys know any other acrylic pouring artists, I would like for them to try out my method of doing a triptych, which is stacking the canvases up on top of each other. A 12 by 16, 11 by 14, eight by 10 right here. Um, fall and dedication to autumn painting. And then on this side right here, we have the two <laughs> canvases and we did a ring pour on here. Um, in case you guys are interested in either one of these paintings, please let me know. I will post them on my website. In addition, you guys can always email me at caseco.arts at gmail.com. Let's go ahead and get started on this breast cancer awareness canvas. So I have my white paint right here. Um, and what I'm gonna do different this time, I'm going to um, basically <laughs> go based off of how I'm feeling and we're going to add some white paint right here for the base make sure it drips off in this area okay then I'm going to add some more white paint right here for our base Maybe I should add a little bit more right here. Um, let's see, let's see. I'm really not sure what I'm trying to go with, but okay. Let's see if I blow up the colors right here. Or maybe I should just have it like this. So let's do it like this. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead, blow this out in this section and then let the two sides be over here. Let it decide for me. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take my blow dryer and blow this out, here we go. white to be in the middle because I'm not sure if you guys checked out this video or not but I have a painting in which you were able to see 
the other acrylic pour that I did before it, like so how we did a cover up, you're still able to see opaque colors um, when you use the opaque colors or the um, transparent colors. You're able to see the design through it, um, one of the old designs, and here it is right here. So as you guys can see, you can still see some of the old, uh, from the old painting in the middle and then the outside surrounding and then the um, opaque color or transparent color inside the middle. So I want to try to see if I can get some of that paint to shine through that's under here already. So it'll be like two paintings in one. So that's what I'm going for, I guess. <laughs> We're gonna see how it works out, but that's what I'm hoping to get. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and cover this up and now I'm gonna go ahead and begin layering up my pink colors which right here is light magenta so I'm just gonna go around this side right here with the light magenta we'll just fill it in all the way and then go around this side and then fill it in and we're just gonna layer the paint the uh, pink colors on top of each other so I have the magenta right here, light magenta. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of this neon pink mixed with fluorescent pink. Adding all pinks for breast cancer awareness. So neon pink plus fluorescent pink. And then I'm gonna come in with this mix of Theo Violet plus white. Just layering up all those pinks. Move them over here. Then I have medium magenta. As you guys know, they pretty, <laughs> all of these pink colors pretty much like mix in with each other anyway. Then I have a mixture of pinks right here. And making sure I don't use the same color twice fluorescent pink and this is just plain fluorescent pink which I really really love and last time we added what I think we added 24 karat gold in here yes we did so this time I might switch it up and I might just go ahead I did add a little bit of the rose gold so maybe I should add just a little bit of that maybe like that much uh oh Got a clump in there. Come on now. Okay. Add a little bit. No. Come on. <laughs> Add a little bit just around the sides. Hopefully I don't get any clumps inside the actual painting. And then I remember adding a little bit of red since it's going to mix with the white anyway. I'm just adding a little bit. And then I want to try to go with silver if I can actually find it with silver. Okay. So let's go ahead and add some silver in there. And we're gonna see, uh-oh, I forgot a color. If I have enough of it, I want a darker pink in there. Okay, that's the quinacridone magenta. Let me go ahead and blow this out back towards myself and then blow it into the white. So here we go. Trying to go through it one good time. <laughs> you know, it's probably a lot of pink. <laughs> okay, so now let's go ahead. I am going to pop my bubbles on here, which I should have done before in the white paint. And then we're going to blow the pinks into the white. So here we go. Feeling like already that 
I like the silver in here, but I'm feeling like maybe I should add a little bit of gold of the 24 karat gold just to be able to make it stand out maybe just a little bit more before I blow out this section. Okay, so let's see. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Okay, so let's see let's see let's see what i can get to pop up if i get these bubbles out of here okay so i'm looking for a softer look maybe Okay, okay, let's see. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like, of course, I have to play with it a little bit until I get it to what I want it to be. So, maybe I shouldn't even do that. like the pink and white I don't know like I'm used to seeing the breast cancer awareness like of course it has like the white background but I'm kind of feeling like maybe I should have went with a light pink background and then do some darker shades of pink on top that's what I'm feeling like but guys know I have to tweak it just a little bit and let's see, what else could I possibly do to get it to what I want it to be? I do like the swirl. I do like the swirls in there. Sometimes I think it's better when you use an object to be able to tweak it. Let's see. I'm trying to think, you guys. I mean, I like it. I like the colors within it and everything. I just wish that maybe I would have chose maybe like a um unbleached titanium white background opposed to just the white background i think that as a matter of fact i think that would have worked out a lot better but i'm not going to change this or anything um as far as like scraping it i'm not going to scrape it because i feel like sometimes it takes for the painting to dry in order for you to <laughs> end up like feeling differently about it, which I'm kind of feeling like that now. <laughs> okay.
close up. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys in. Come on in. And there is the breast cancer awareness painting on this 16 by 20 we added the white in the middle at first I wasn't feeling it it wasn't where I wanted it to be but after taking the end of my paintbrush dragging some of that pink into the white making those swirls in there adding in the gold you guys know what belonged in there <laughs> I can't I can't seem to, uh, seem to skip a painting without the gold in there so there it is right there with the swirls. Absolutely beautiful. I love that shimmer of that gold in there. And you guys know, while I am at it, while I have you guys up close, I'm going to kind of put a secret message in there if I can. And I am going to add a heart right there. And then Let's see, maybe I can drag in the white a little bit to make a heart right there. There we go. Okay, so you may not be able to see it initially, but there we go. There's a heart right there. And let me see if I can put one right here and maybe one right here. Just secretly put a little message in there and then maybe come in right here and add the breast cancer awareness um, ribbon right here let's see if I can do that and then possibly bring it down right there and that'll be my secret message to you guys right there absolutely gorgeous painting you guys i'm so glad i stuck with it and the designs and everything adding the swirls in there it turned this painting all the way around there we go. well i would like to thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey as we support those dealing with breast cancer and those who are uh, survivors of breast cancer. I wanna thank you guys so much for helping me to build my channel. Please make sure you guys go and subscribe and like the video. Also, make sure you commenting inside the chat. Thank you guys so much. As I always say before I sign out, number one, stay safe. Number two, stay blessed. And last, but certainly not least, no matter what it is in this life that you are personally facing, decide and turn your pain and even your happiness into paintings. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!